it's Rachel with Salt, and today she and I are going to do an introduction to healing. So, um, I know that we have practiced loose leash walking with Salt because she uh, turned into a little bit of a sled dog. Healing is kind of the next step, um, but it's used a little bit differently than the loose leash walking. If you're taking her, you know, for a daily walk for exercise, you definitely don't want her to heal that entire time. You can let her do the loose leash walking where you give her the whole leash, but as soon as she starts pulling, that's when you have to correct her. But she still has all this room to kind of walk around and explore, and she's not, um, she doesn't have to be right next to you. Healing, however, is a bit closer. You keep it on one side, and she always sits when you stop. Now, um, even though she won't be close to your side for loose leash walking, it is a good idea to get her in the habit of sitting whenever you stop. That way it sets her up for meeting new people and new dogs instead of trying to run up to them and jump on them. she If you have her sit every time a new person or a new dog approaches you, um, she'll start to do that automatically and so you can control when she's allowed to um, meet that new person or new dog. And also, um, like on your walk, if you come to a, a crosswalk or something, you want salt sitting safely by your side and not going ahead of you into the street or anything like that. Um, but enough about that. We're going to go over the healing. Uh, some useful applications for healing would be like taking her into the vet's office where there are a lot of dogs around. You know, they might be sick and stuff like that, so you want her closer to you, paying more attention to you. Healing is a more active command, and so her focus needs to be on you instead of exploring. Keeps her nice and close to you, and she'll sit calmly beside you while you get her checked in at the front desk and all that. Or if you go to Petco, um, say there are lots of dogs around, you don't know how they are with other dogs, and you're going through a small aisle or something, putting salt in a heel will keep her nice and close next to you. So, we're going to start off with her here. So, come here. Now, we usually do healing on the left side. And good girl. This is exactly how we're supposed to start. So, I just baited her up into a sit. Now, I'm going to start off with my left leg, the leg that's closest to her, and say heel. And we're going to walk around a little bit. She's going to stay right here. She's not going to get any further in front of or behind me. And then I will bait her up into a sit when we stop. Sit. Sit. Good girl, sit. Heel. 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 Good heel. Good girl. Good girl, heel. Okay, so that was pretty good. Um, now, if she was getting too far ahead and you're lagging a bit, notice I told her to heal again, and I used the leash to either kind of pull back on her or pull her up so that she was right next to me. <laughs> Instead of saying sit, no, sit, no, sit, no, sit, salt, good girl, stay. Um, instead of saying sit, I used a treat to beat her up into a sit. Uh, we try to avoid using sit when we can because sit is included in the heel command. So if I'm able to beat her up into a sit, she's going to learn that she does that every time that I stop. And then I can reward her for a good heel. Instead of saying heel, sit, good heel, um, heel is the last command she will have verbally received. So we're going to keep going. Now this time, if she gets in front of me, I'm going to do left turns. And in doing the left turns, I'm going to be lifting my leg up and kind of getting into her space like that. Now this is not to kick her or anything like that. It's just to kind of get in front of her and move her head over. So if she has her own agenda and is walking too fast, I'm going to get into her space so she has to pay attention to me. She has to be 
aware of where I'm going and how fast I'm going at all times and she needs to get out of my space. That puts me as the alpha and it makes her more engaged and so she is paying more attention to me than her surroundings when we're healing. Oh. All right, about six. Good girl, sit. Heel. Okay, that was really good. So you can see I was trying to turn into her a bit there, but a lot of what she was doing was um, kind of going off to the left and wandering off that way. And so I'd have to really reach over to get in front of her to do it that way. So when that's the case, if she's getting too far to the left of you, do an about turn, which is just a 180, so you're going up. Gets her a bit, um, uh, it gets her attention a bit better, and um, you do a quick turn and you're walking away, it um, catches her attention right away and she has to act quickly to follow you. Now she did a good job and she's good with her sit when we stop. Um, I'm just able to bait her up. That last time I didn't even have a physical treat in my hand, but she got the concept well enough, so that's really good. Now for the next couple of minutes, I'm just going to keep on repeating healing patterns with her without stopping to uh, talk in between like this. Now that we've kind of gone over everything, I just want to give her some good practice. Now hold the leash in your right hand, and then you can use your left hand to control the slack if need be. Good girl, heel. Good girl. Okay, now when you praise her like this, make sure she still doesn't jump. Remember, we were working on that off. Good girl. Okay, so this is another instance where healing was useful or just having her sit when you stop in general. So that instead of her coming up and jumping on someone, she's sitting, they get to choose when they approach her, and they're able to um, control her jumping a little bit better, or at least they're expecting it um, if they're going up to her instead of her just running up and jumping on them right away. Um, that's just a little side note. But she's doing really well with her healing. She responds well. Um, I'm using a little bit of treats here and there to give her encouragement, uh, which it does seem to be helping, but she's not too treat dependent, which is good. So you don't have to use a treat every time you do healing with her. Make your praise and your affection her treat.
and that's really the best way to do it. Hash salt. This is Rachel and Salt, and we're doing an introduction to healing.